Hi everyone. This is a video specifically for foster families. Um, foster care seems to be a growing population in Charlotte and we want to be able to support those families however we can. One of the things that I like to have on hand is um, as a resource are books and I have four books that I want to review for you today so you can um, get an idea of what is in them before you might purchase them. I got all of them from Amazon um, and if there are any books that you have used as a foster parent to explain um, what is happening for your foster child, please leave it in the comments so we can maybe start um, a resource of these books for, for foster families. So the first one I want to talk about is Love You From Right Here. This is a book probably for younger kids. There's not a lot of words on the page. Um, the theme of this book is really, um, I, I'm just going to be here. Uh, when, when you need me, I'm, I'm going to be right here. I'm not going anywhere. Um, if you're mad, if you need someone to laugh with, if you need someone to play with, I'm, I'm going to be right here for you. So that's kind of the theme of this book. The thing I like about this book is at the end, um, it's, it, it can be a keepsake book. So you can uh, put pictures of you and your foster child there. You can uh, write about what they like to eat, things they like to do. You could write stories at the end about them. Um, and so it could be a really nice keepsake book for them. Um, it doesn't specifically talk about foster care, but the story can be applied to their experience. The next book is called Maybe Days. The theme of this book is that it's hard to it's hard to not know what's going to happen and it's hard to um, get the answer of maybe when you ask adults a question of what is going to happen. Adults in foster care will often say maybe because they, they don't know what's going to happen. And so this book really talks about feelings that kids might have, circumstances that might lead to them being in foster care. There's a page in this book that talks about um, what the kid's job is. And I like that because it's a good reminder for, um, for adults to um, help keep their experience as, as a kid um, as consistent and normal as possible. So it also is a book that has a lot of resources at the end, a lot of information for foster parents and other adults who might be working um, with the kids. So that's Maybe Days. So this one specifically addresses foster care. Love You From Right Here does not. Kids Need to Be Safe is another book that does specifically address foster care. Um, it's for younger kids. Um, again, not a lot of words on the pages, but addresses um, the feelings that kids may be experiencing. Um, and the theme is kind of answering the question of why, like the, the circumstances that may be in place for um, a kid to be in foster care. And again, this is a book that at the end, they have a lot of information and resources for adults. So that's Kids Need to Be Safe. The last one I want to share with you is called Murphy's Three Homes. And uh, again, it's, it's not a book that addresses foster care specifically, but the story can be applied to the experience. Murphy is a Tibetan terrier and he learns that Tibetan Terriers are supposed to be good luck dogs, but the circumstances of Murphy's life is that the humans that he, that were supposed to be caring for him couldn't care for him the way that he needed. And so he had been sent to a few different homes. And so because of that, Murphy started to believe that he was a bad luck dog um, and started to worry that every time he made a mistake, he would be sent to a different home. And so in the end, um, he is put with a family who um, responds to Murphy's big, um, 
big mess that he makes in the bathroom. He makes a big mess in the bathroom and he thinks that that's it, that he's, he's going to be sent to a new house. But um, to his surprise, that family told him that um, there's nothing he could do that would, um, that would make them uh, have him leave. So he learned that he was actually a good luck dog in the end. The last page after, you know, after that day, he says, that night when I snuggled in my doggy bed, I wish that all dogs who believe they are bad luck dogs would discover that it isn't their fault that they too can become good luck dogs. And again, this is a book that has a lot of information at the end for parents, um, a lot of resources. And, you know, again, talks a lot about feelings and how to address those feelings that kids might be feeling. So Murphy's Three Homes, Kids Need to Be Safe, Maybe Days, and Love You From Right Here. So hopefully one of those or all of them um, are a good resource for you. And let me know if you decide to purchase any of them um, and if they were helpful. Thanks.